It's a chilly morning in Mumbai and we have reached Sanjay Gandhi National Park. Take the tickets now and head on to our cycling stuff. We were waiting in the queue for bicycles but as you would expect the cycling expedition inside the national park is getting very popular as, as time goes but we will have to wait for two long hours to get the next batch of bicycles so what we'll do is we'll just take a short walk here and come back after two hours and get on to cycling so let's go through the wastelands through the highways and the Krishnagiri railway station inside the national park and I think it is a 25 to 30 year old mini train started by the national park authorities it has been on and off but it is on now there is one place called Gandhi Takri on the top we will just go this way walk down this way to create a song I don't want to miss a beat We climbed the stairs for about 10 to 15 minutes from the Krishnagiri railway station. And what you see on the back side, yeah, this is the Gandhi Smriti. It was, it is known as Gandhi Smriti Smarak Mandir. 60, 65 year old structure was inaugurated by India's first president, Rajendra Prasad. Beautiful place, peaceful place. You can see kids playing here, people doing yoga, all types of asanas and having a peaceful time out here. managed to get the cycles there's a long waiting and the cycles are in short number but we've got it finally and we are all set to begin our journey towards Kaneri Caves it's a six kilometer journey one way and it is a mix of inclines and declines but mostly inclines while reaching the Kaneri Caves so here we go now We are at the Kaneri Caves after cycling to the inclines of Kaneri Hills. These are historic caves. The construction of these caves started way back in 1st century BC and went on 
in different phases up till 11th century AD. It's a historic cave, one of the oldest caves in Mumbai, in India and in the world perhaps. So it is a complex of 109 caves with different shapes and sizes. I've been here multiple times but I still can't stop admiring the beauty of these caves. These are fantastic caves. So I am somewhere on the top of these Kaneri hills that behind me you see here is somewhere around this range is the highest peak of Mumbai Jambul Mal I think I'm getting the name right so it's at a height of around 1500 feet which makes about 400 500 meters and behind me though not very clear is the Tulsi or the Vihar lake that makes up the majority of Mumbai's water supply so it was built in around 1860 to meet the water requirements of the city so these cuts that you see here are called as cisterns now these are not just normal cuts or something that that was made by accident but there is a there's an engine there's a brilliant engineering mind behind this so if you see when it rains what happens is the water flows through the walls okay it flows through the walls like this and then gets deposited in these tiny structures it flows through here and then gets deposited in these tanks here so this was used year round and so this again is a, a simple cut but still of a magnificent importance to the monks for their water consumption so we cycled six kilometers into the Kaneri caves explored the Kaneri caves and now it's time to go back now one thing that we as Mumbaikars and as Indians should take immense pride in is that Sanjay Gandhi National Park is the largest national park within the city limits which boasts of wild animals like leopards, lions, tigers. It is spread across 104 square kilometers and it is known as the lungs of the city because it absorbs most of the pollution that the city produces and obviously gives out fresh oxygen. There's no other park like that anywhere in the world. So it's 2.15 and we are just outside the gate of Sanjay Gandhi National Park. I'm really really proud that I have such a great asset within my city limits. Come here, enjoy, take up the cycling expedition, like the Kaneri Caves or just walk on the trails of Sanjay Gandhi National Park. I'm sure you'll have an awesome time. It's time to head back. Bye.